Hello, everybody, and thank you for joining me, Adrian Scopes, Corporate Relationship Manager at Nationwide, uh, on this update on the mortgage works and uh, how we're doing business at the moment. Um, I think uh, mortgage works sits in, in a unique place within the marketplace, um, doing both um, some complex uh, lending and the limited companies and large portfolios, but also um, the straightforward um, uh, stuff at the other end as well. Um, uh, where, where people want to own properties and own right. So, so we've got both options on there. And I'm going to talk about both today while we're with you. Um, and uh, we'll take about less than 20 minutes um, and uh, go through some of those key points. This will be an overview. It'll give you a feel for what we're, markets we're operating in and how we're doing things. And I would then ask that to, you go to our uh, website uh, and check that our criteria suits your client circumstances and that we can get cases through as quickly as possible for you. Um, before I start on the uh, mortgage criteria, I just wanted to talk about uh, a, a couple of points really, which was that um, we were um, we, we've done some research on on uh, uh, recently in terms of um, uh, what uh, landlords are thinking at the moment, and certainly they're keen to borrow, um, and uh, they, they can see the market returning a little bit. Um, and whilst there is a lot of talk about uh, capital gains changes and uh, and stuff like that, um, they seem to be coping with those changes uh, and still have a demand for for mortgages. So, I'm going to start with some basic criteria here for you. Um, first of all, um, one of the long-established facts about the mortgage works is we don't have any minimum income requirements. Um, should your client have no income? And I would strongly recommend a conversation with uh, one of our advisors, either with a, a BDM or a telephone BDM, just to talk through exactly what your criteria is. Um, it doesn't necessarily cause a problem, but there are certain situations where we do need an income, um, and we'll need to see that, although there is no minimum income requirement. Um, there's also uh, no limit on number of properties with the mortgage works. So we have an overall lending um, capability of, uh, of £5 million. Pounds. Um, that covers all debts with nationwide as a whole. So if they do have a nationwide mortgage, don't forget to include that one as well if you're getting close to those limits. Um, but they can have uh, anywhere, uh, any number of properties, you know, 100, 200, uh, or one or two, um, whichever way things are going. Um, also, your landlord can be uh, a, a large investor or a smaller one. So if they've just got one or two properties, or they've got a large portfolio of 50, 100 properties, again, we can deal with both of those um, with no upper limits on those as well. Um, a couple of years back, um, we improved our proposition. So if your client is a low rate taxpayer, um, they can spend, uh, um, uh, we can use an ICR of 125%, um, making it uh, more affordable for their mortgages and, and borrowing greater. Um, I would ask you're very careful to check their income to make sure that they will stay within that um, uh, appropriate tax rate. Um, sometimes what we see is that their actual earned income is fine, but people have forgotten to take into account their income on their buy to let properties as well. By the time we've added in that, um, it's moved them to the higher ICR of 145% and the deal is starting to look a little more difficult. Really useful criteria for your experienced landlords um, is if they've got an LTV of less than 65%, we have no upper age limit. So if you have a 70 year old with you at the moment, wants to borrow 50% on their uh, property, hold on to it into their well into their retirement to maintain an income. Um, you can have a 30, 35 year term on that. Um, so we all problems in terms of uh, uh, having to refinance or look at a deal again, um, but allowing your client to um, deal with it as he wishes, either in his estate or, or by disposal of properties when they choose to do so, rather than when being forced to do so by uh, upper age limits. Um, all other cases have a maximum age limit of 70 at application. Um, very exciting slide about stress rates. Um, you'll be aware of this. We do have CAD case on the website. That's what you use now. Um, but maybe it's useful to be aware that uh, um, the longer the term and the lower the LTV, um, the, the, the better the uh, stress rate. Um, and uh, down there at uh, less than 65% on remorse, you've got four and a half percent. On a five year deal on 75%, um, you've got four and a half percent as well. So again, just making deals work a little bit better and more smoothly for you. Um, but do again, just use the calculators to work these numbers out for you uh, and then make sure the case fits. So I, I did want to spend a good bit of time talking about limited company. Um, so, so limited company is a proposition we've had around for around about a year or so now, um, and it's working really well. Um, we're doing a lot of lending on it. Um, and the first thing that uh, you need to be aware of is that uh, 
we only use um, special purpose vehicles, like most other lenders, SPVs, and it's got to be set up solely for the buying, selling, and letting of their own residential properties. Um, so it's, it's a very narrow definition, um, and that's how it covers uh, three, uh, uh, four SPV codes. So if you're looking up the company codes, uh, you're talking uh, 68100, 68201, 68209, and 68320. We won't accept any other SPVs um, from your clients. Um, and uh, you need to make sure that they've got no other associated commercial properties or assets within that um, vehicle either, um, because that will not be the case out of bed as well. So do make sure that it's only um, um, buying, selling, and letting residential properties. So it's only residential properties that are in there, no other assets at all. Um, we have maximum number of directors, um, which is currently two. Uh, we are looking at expanding that if we possibly can. Um, it's not so something we're able to do at the moment. It's one of those things that's just got a little bit lost as we've gone through 2020 in a much more uh, difficult year than perhaps we were anticipating in, in January. Um, so we're not going to do that yet, but it is on the agenda. But at the moment, it's currently two directors. Um, they will need to give personal guarantee and they will have to pass our normal um, credit searches and credit scoring as well. So if we, we, we treat them as if we were lending to them as individuals as well as any of the companies. So do make sure they fit our criteria as well. Um, and uh, we will take uh, a guarantee from the directors. Um, we don't take a charge over our other assets though. And so there's no floating charge, but you do have a personal guarantee. Um, we use the lower ICR on these, 125%, so that helps the deals work a, well, a bit better. And we've got a range of products. Obviously there's changes. Um, it's a very competitive marketplace. And at the moment there's two and five year terms, um, and we're at a, a maximum LTV of 75%. Um, we were at 80 percent earlier in the year, but that's come back a little bit over the COVID period, uh, and I don't see that changing uh, at the moment. Um, you can have a portfolio with a limited company, um, and uh, you will need to load the portfolio onto our system. Um, it is a little bit clunky, um, but I would ask for you to be accurate, and the more accurate you can be in, in answering those questions, um, the best of the results that come out. We, we, do, we do unfortunately spend a lot of time trying to source out portfolios and get the information correct to, so that we can assess them accurately. But if you can get all the information in once accurately, it'll get assessed automatically and it'll be job done. Uh, there's no limit to the number of properties within that portfolio. Um, the portfolio landlord has its own um, uh, definition on there. Um, I'm going to cover this off in the next slide actually, but um, uh, it's worth mentioning more than once. Um, so this is properties that they own personally as well as within their limited company. And if they've got four or more, we consider them to be a portfolio landlord. So four or more mortgage properties, personally or within the limited company, they will be a portfolio, portfolio landlord. Um, we don't accept loans as a source of deposit. This has become a, 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 a more and more of an issue. Um, several reasons for that. One is that people tend to have more than one company and they'll draw money from one business and lend it to another one. Um, that's not acceptable to us um, in uh, uh, on our cases, and also with government support over over the uh, over the COVID period, bounce back loans those aren't acceptable either. So do again make sure you know where the deposit is coming from from your client and that it fulfills our criteria. Um, we have recently launched Switcher products. Um, they have uh, proved to be very popular. So uh, there's no chance, no danger that if you get to the end of the uh, current two year deal. Um, that you won't have an option for your clients. Um, so that's good news there as well. Uh, and we do recognize that um, the, the, the limited companies are a little more complex, they take some more work. Um, so we pay a higher procuration fee in these, one on top of your normal procuration fee. Um, we know what we like with limited companies. Um, and I would ask that you, you do have a look at our key facts and the FAQs. You've got some really good information on our website to check out information before submitting a case. And if you need to talk to the BDMs or telephone BDMs who are available to support and help you uh, with these uh, needs. A uh, couple of points on, on packaging and processing. Um, one, you have a person with specific control, um, which is a, a legal um, uh, person. Um, we have to enter that information um, onto company's house uh, data and they compare it. So do enter that name accurately. Um, you get all the names captured spelled correctly so we can upload it correctly. Otherwise, that caused problems at company's house. Um, and when you're submitting cases, um, uh, you can only have one limited company with the mortgage works. 
So once you've done your first case for your first limited company, that's the one you should be continuing to use with the Mortgage Works. Um, and uh, we'll be asking when you submit the case, um, if it's a portfolio landlord, we'll need the property schedule, we'll need the proof of deposit, um, so bear in mind uh, that information about loans, um, and we'll also be asking for three months personal bank statements um, for all the directors. So it could be quite a lot of statements if you've got two directors on there. And again, just make sure those, those statements look good. Um, we're looking for people who are, are, are financially solvent. Uh, they're not under financial distress. And, and one of the difficulties we're having at the moment is when we start to look at clients and underwriting them in limited companies, um, is we find that there is financial stress there and that starts to cause us problems with our underwriting uh, and getting the case through. Um, just want to talk a bit about portfolio landlords, which I've already mentioned. So we have a separate portfolio landlord product um, outside a limited company. Um, and just to do that definition again for you, it's four or more distinct mortgage buy to UK rental. Uh, if, they, uh, if they have um, two properties at the moment, one of them isn't mortgage as far as we're concerned, and one of those, one of those counts towards their portfolio. Um, if they have three and they're going to be borrowing another one, um, so they've got four mortgages, that would be a portfolio landlord as well. So do make sure that you've got that definition correctly, especially when, when, when you're on the boundaries. Um, we introduced a few months ago our portfolio checker. Uh, one of the tools available on our website that helps you to check our information and make sure the case fits our criteria before you go too far down the road as some product finders as well. Um, different set of uh, smaller portfolios. We said about a maximum of 75 10, stress tested at four and a half, and an ICR of 145. On the larger properties, we've got a lower LTV and a higher stress rate. So, um, so are reducing uh, the risk there for us. So do again, make sure that your case fits that criteria. Use the portfolio checker to help you through that as well. Um, some of the changes we made, and it's been a difficult year for all of us, um, and the mortgage works has had to change these criteria as well. So we've had to reduce, uh, withdraw uh, HMO products. Um, so you won't be seeing those. I don't think they're gonna come back anytime soon. Um, we are lending very well under the TMW banner at the moment. Uh, and we'd like to keep it that way, um, but we're also a responsible lender. Ultimately, uh, the mortgage works is owned by Nationwide, um, who uh, are, um, tend to wear on the side of uh, being conservative on their lending, um, but we will all never, never say never. Um, maximum 75 percent LTV, uh, again, that was 80% at the beginning of the year. I can't see that returning in the, in the near future at the moment. And we've also withdrawn from the 10-year fixed rate product market as well. Um, it was a handy tool to have, and I think suited some clients, but unfortunately it's not available at the moment either. Um, what you will see more of on, on the mortgage works is use of desktop valuation. Firstly, speed up the process uh, and B, give us a, a, an accurate information more quickly. Um, we also have a property hub um, at Nationwide, which is now being opened up to the mortgage works as well. Uh, and the Property Hub is a tool that we use, which we uh, set up ourselves, um, gathering vast amounts of information about um, uh, properties throughout the UK and on the uh, Nationwide and Mortgage Works um, sites or, or books. Um, and uh, we're gradually learning a lot more there. So you will start to see the introduction of, of um, ABMs as well on Bicep Works as well. So that's good news, and again, helps us all. So I just thought I'd end on this uh, last slide here. Um, so there's a lot of information on. Um, on our website. Um, so we've got the infographic on the right hand side. Uh, quarter three um, by summation there and generally that shows um, landlords in, in a positive frame of mind. A lot of them are looking to use a limited company um, to, to buy their next property uh, and a very large number of them will be remortgaging the next year as well. All business that uh, comes through you as advisors. This is an advised market. Um, we have guides on there. Uh, we've got up there the supporting portfolio analysts, just giving some key details on that. So do, do look at those um, because there are things in there which catch people out um, and uh, often not uh, found until we start to underwrite, which can be well into the process. Uh, I've mentioned the portfolio checker. That's down there on the left-hand side there. Again, use that tool if you've got portfolio properties. And the, the tax free ca changes calculator. Um, we're almost at the end of the transition period now, so uh, less and less relevant these days, but, um, but nevertheless, a, a useful tool for helping. Um, just a point uh, before I finish on stamp duty. Um, obviously, buy set properties are, are, are gaining from the stamp duty holiday at the moment, um, and landlords are making use of that, which is great news. 
it is already getting uh, stressful uh, on this front um, and I'm seeing signs that so searches can't be let alone lenders at the front end of things getting offers through so already on our website you'll see a banner on there um, advising people that uh, well, we, we, we need cases in sooner rather than later if we're going to hit the 31st of March um, bearing in mind at the moment it's taking somewhere between four to six weeks to get the typical limited company case through our underwriting at the moment so do keep an eye out on that um, it's going to be a, a very busy Q1 next year um, all that uh, leaves me to say presentation I hope you found that useful do use the tools online um, as much as you can if you've got case submitted do use our online case tracking um, and if you've got new inquiries that you, you need to talk through then use your BDM or telephone BDM to guide and help you through that to make sure you submit it um, correctly in the first instance Thank you very much for your time today and have a good day.